Hi, this is Lee Ellis with another installment of Leading with Honor Coaching. Well, July is a big important month. It's a great holiday, July the 4th. We celebrate our independence. And that's a big deal because independence means freedom. But with freedom also comes responsibility. And so it's interesting to kind of live in this uh, this paradox of having independence, but also having responsibility. And you know that applies everywhere, at home, at work. And lately we've been seeing that uh, the things that apply in leadership at work, because of this book that we wrote, uh, just came out three weeks ago, Captured by Love, Inspiring True Romance Stories from Vietnam POWs. We just, we're gonna capture the stories. But what it turned out was that so many of the lessons that help these families have great marriages and relationships are the same as what happens in a great workplace every day. And so that's why we're talking about that this year. And today I wanted to share a little bit about independence and interdependence. You know, it almost sounds like a paradox, doesn't it? If I'm going to be independent but yet interdependent, well, I'll tell you, it takes a pretty courageous person and a person who believes in themselves to do that. And so we encourage people to believe in yourself. That's one of our first lessons is believe in yourself. Because when you believe in yourself, you don't feel so threatened by others around you. And it enables you to give freedom to others and to listen to them in relationships. So thinking about this interdependence of being independent and interdependent, one of the things that comes to my mind is the story of a couple in our book, and that's the name of their story, as I mentioned. And he was a famous fighter pilot. He had flown many combat missions. He has met one of the most decorated fighter pilots I've ever known. And he's a good friend. And he's 91 now <laughs> and still doing well. And so is his wife. She's in her 80s. But they have this great relationship and they talk about how each of them has their own focus and own independence. And yet they're totally connected to each other out of respect and commitment and companionship and love that they have a great marriage. Well, those same things apply in the workplace. And as a leader, you have to be confident enough in yourself that you know you're independent, but yet you're really depending on your people to get things done. And you want them to feel independent. So you delegate, you give them areas of responsibility. You give them boundaries in the culture of what's expected. And when you treat people like this, you know what happens? They perform better because they think you respect them. They see that you're trusting them, you're believing in them, and you're giving them that freedom to really go perform and maybe do it their way, which may be better than your way that you would do it. You know, I have been very successful in my military career, my business career, because I've had people around me that do so many things so much better than I do. And most of the time I listen to them. Now, sometimes I may push back and say, let's talk about that a little bit more. We have a little creative conflict discussion. Maybe you're going this way and I'm looking at it this way. That's so important to be able to do that because you're going to have much greater success because a lot of people have great ideas and great talents and they can probably see things that you don't see. It takes a person though, who has inner confidence to accept that and to operate in that way. I mentioned this couple, they both have a lot of inner confidence and they enjoy it. And sometimes they laugh about their perspectives might be slightly different, but they work through it and they've learned to do that. Respect, caring for others, so important at work and at home. I hope you'll check out our new book, Captured by Love, Inspiring True Romance Stories from Vietnam POWs. And guess what? It's already a bestseller and it's on audio. And you can go to Amazon and hear a sample of it on the audio book. And I think you'd really enjoy it. I do read some of the pieces of it, 
but also we have a professional who's a fantastic uh, audio book uh, communicator. Well, that's it for today. Look forward to seeing you again next month. Take care and God bless.